Boys, today we're talking about light speed bundles. We do it a lot on the channel, but uh, I think it's important and I try to plan my farming around them. And so I want to talk about what I think is going to be the next light speed bundle. And spoiler alert, I think it's the executor. And I'm not just saying that um, without any, I guess I don't have any proof to back it up, but without any reasoning or rationale as to why I think that. So um, first thing I want to do is take a look at um, this community uh, update that we got last week and also say CG please for the love of all that is good add a dark mode to the forums because my eyes are blinded right now and I have my monitor on minimum brightness um, anyways um, down at the bottom of this we got information on the punishing one um, we were told that Dengar's punishing one is coming to Galaxy of Heroes and I think that this means an Executor Lightseed Bundle is coming. And I could see the argument that this means it's not coming, but the reason I think that it is coming is because um, if you look at my roster, and I think I'm a pretty good example of this, I have some of my Executor requirements done. Um, I am halfway through my relics roughly on Boba and um, Vader. I still need a relic Piet. Uh, I have Bosk done. I still need a relic IG-88, Dengar, and TIE Fighter Pilot. And uh, they're not required but um, for the Executor Unlock. But um, I should relic my Bam and I should relic... Uh, you should all relic your Cad Bane. Mine's already relic to Relic 5. Um, the reason I think it makes so much sense to do this Lightspeed Bundle is one... There's duplicate requirements in here from previous Lightspeed Bundles. That is good for CG. It makes them money, and we've seen the value of the Lightspeed Bundles going down over time. So duplicate requirements mean that they can make more off of it. Um, second, it gives people a reason to go get Punishing One. Right now, I have next to no reason to go get punishing one other than to eventually get it for when i do unlock my executor i'm not gonna wail on it day one anybody who doesn't have executor isn't gonna wail on it way day one unless they're i don't know special um but nobody's gonna wail on it unless they have executor if you give more people executor or offer for people to pay to get executor then it gives them more of a reason to wail on the punishing one. So I literally think that when you think about it that way, CG is gaining basically double dipping there. If they can dip once and get you to pay for an executor light speed bundle and then dip again in order to get you to pay for the punishing one, then they're able to make more money. They are able to end Q4, since I think that's roughly when, uh, end of the year is roughly when punishing one's gonna come out. and. Presumably, Light Speed Bundle comes a few weeks before, or maybe a month before. Um, they're able to kind of double dip there and show really good end of Q4 results, which is really important for shareholders and for businesses in general. Here's the question, though. If we do get an Executor Light Speed Bundle, who comes in it and what relic level do they give them to us at, right? Because IG-88, Dengar, TIE Fighter Pilot, Relic 5, that's fine. CG can give that out. But are they going to give Boba at Relic 8? Are they going to give out Piet at Relic 8? I don't think so. I think what will happen is when the Executor Lightspeed Bundle comes, it'll give you the ships, and then it'll give you Piet, Boba, Vader, Bosk, IG-88, Dengar, TIE Fighter Pilot, all at Relic 5. And that's what the Lightspeed Bundle will be. And it'll likely, if I had to guess, this is really just kind of throwing out a guess out there, be a $50 bundle. I don't think it makes sense to do that for $20. I think it's too good of a deal. Um, I think that obviously, right, they have to do a ratio of if they make it $50 versus they make it $20, are they going to have half the people buy it at 50? Because if it is, if so, if it's exactly half, they actually made more money at 50 versus 20. Or are they going to have three times the people buy it at 20 and they actually make more money selling at 20? So they have all that information and are able to figure that stuff out, especially given the fact they've sold Lightspeed Bundles for those different price points already. But... I definitely think that this is the next Lightspeed Bundle, or at least the next major Lightspeed Bundle coming. I could definitely see some random, like, little Lightspeed Bundle coming along the way that's like a freaking Jawa Lightspeed Bundle or something, um, just to give you, like, some sort of faction that they haven't released one for. Kind of like the, the Geos was sort of this, like, random kind of one-off, or the Nightsys was kind of this random one-off. I could definitely see them doing one of those, but um, the next big one, next big Journey Guide one, I think it's 
got to be this. I know a lot of people have been throwing around Revens, and I could definitely see that as a possibility. I'm not going to say that's not going to happen, but if I was a betting man and had to put uh, some money down, I think an Executor Lightsea Bundle is coming. I think it makes a ton of sense. I think Punishing One really uh, sells that case for me that it's coming. So if you guys have other thoughts on what the next Lightsea Bundle is going to be, if you think that it's going to be something different, I want to hear your thoughts. This is a quick video. It's been something I've been thinking about, and I wanted to get this out there to hear your guys' thoughts and hear um, what you think the next Lightsea Bundle is going to be. But Punishing One has really been selling me on the fact that I think Ex Executor is coming. So anyways, like the video, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.